things that many of us, we, we talked about migraines recently uh, at the opposite end of the, your body and the opposite end of the spectrum that is uh, one of the problems that people come in with a lot is plantar fasciitis. Uh, we work with a lot of marathon runners and people that are athletes and, and this is one of those things that, that is really just kicking people in the foot basically. Um, plantar fasciitis <clears throat> is a pain on the bottom of your foot. It can be it manifest in different parts of the foot. A lot of times it's on the, on the base of the heel mm -hmm. and many times people feel this when they first get up with their first few steps, their foot pain is excruciating and they have to slow down or stop moving and stretch a little bit before they can not limp to the bathroom. Um, and the reason that that happens first thing in the morning is because many times people's feet are pointed when they're sleeping. So if you're sleeping on your back, even doing trying to do a good job sleeping on your back, if your toes are getting pulled down in the bed because your sheets are tucked in really tight or you have blankets over the top of your feet, it's going to pull your feet down which shorten your calf muscles. The calf muscles, these big muscles on the back of your leg, are then pulling on the fascial sheath and the tendon that attaches to your heel which wraps underneath and attaches to the bottom of your foot. So as soon as you stand up and put pressure on it, now all of that stuff is pulling directly on those areas and causing everything to just feel like you're getting stabbed in the foot. And the biggest problem, it is not a foot problem. It is a calf problem. So these big muscles in your calf are so tight and contracted. And many times you, you will notice that many times what that you're, you're taught to do is well, get a little bit higher heel in that tennis shoe or those shoes and if you wear those then that'll take the pressure off it yeah but then you're shortening your calf more while you're up and then you're definitely going to shorten your 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 calf when you're sleeping to make it more comfortable and then it just kind of feeds into this whole thing so the idea is and there's several things that you can do for it they, they sell dorsal night splints that you can get they're about thirty dollars a piece for your for your feet and it basically holds your foot in a neutral position while you're sleeping many times that thing all by itself can take care of this um <clears throat> i prefer the kind that has the it's like a plastic uh, uh mold that goes on the front of your leg it, it has memory foam a, a, a cross attach your not attach your skin but on your skin and then it has a big kind of wide strap on, over your foot and your and your leg so it kind of holds it in place. You can walk in, it's easy to move. Um, so that's critically important. Uh, having shoes that fit properly where your arch is supported properly, that type of thing is also gonna help because then your foot isn't rolling in every single time that you do it, causing the calf to get tight. Um, icing, we have, we have a, a ankle sprain protocol on our website. Uh, it's just menchmethod.com, pretty sure. Uh, and it's in the player's corner uh, section of the thing, and it, it talks about ankle sprains, ankle sprain protocol or whatever. And there's a whole uh, protocol in there that you can do at home that can get rid of a lot of the issues uh, with, with plantar fasciitis. But it's, it's, it's working all the muscles down into the foot and, and many times within a session or two, we can isolate all the different things that are actually pulling on the foot and causing the problems. And if the footwear issues are taken care of and the sleep posture issues are taken care of, then the people don't have to deal with that anymore. Mm -hmm.